Stefan, it, is the um, the home road splits as hard for you to figure out as it is for us? Uh, yeah, it's just unusual. Obviously, I think we're under 500 at, at home. And that's been our staple, you know, we're giving ourselves a little cushion every season for the last however long. So it's a challenge that we have to overcome <clears throat> at some point down the stretch of the season. And you understand, like, the best case scenario is um, to try to have home court in a play-in environment or, you know, when you get into a series, have to win here and, and protect your home court, especially as a lower seed. So you got to correct whatever is ailing us. I think tonight was just a slow start. You know, they know what happened in New York when we jumped out to a, whatever it was, 20 to 4 or whatever. So you knew they were going to come out strong. They did. We responded, just couldn't get over the hump. I think it was wire to wire for them, and that's another um, the situation that we, we can't let happen on our home court. Is the, Do you think, is the road, is the energy any different on the road? Do you feel like there's something on the road that you're not able to replicate at home? Honestly, I don't know what the answer is. It's, it's always that thing. If you did, you'd be able to lead it in the fourth quarter or not getting off to a good start where you don't control any of the momentum. <clears throat> we've kind of seen it all. So you pick it, we've experienced it. It was 18-4. Like what, I mean, you've alluded to it, but what happened in that stretch? I mean, McBride got loose at he had like 11 in the first you know, five or six minutes. And we we kept Jalen pretty quiet to start, um, but they Hartenstein got three uh, floaters or finishes in the paint, and they were kind of spacing us out. They played a starting lineup that gave uh, you know, Hartenstein an ability to roll. Him and Brunson play pick and roll. And then when McBride was hitting shots, they had every option open, and they were making them so. And it's tough you know, getting the ball at the basket every time coming down the, down the court. We never got stops that led the transition. But like I said, we responded, got it to four at one point in the second half. And they just had every answer. How are you How are you looking at your place right now in the standings and, and how reasonable it is to get into the 7 eight range and also below you, you know, Houston kind of coming up? Uh... Maybe a week or two ago, 60 was the, the motivation. Right now, I think I could care less about where you're at. It's just the consistency of uh, how we're playing. That's the most important thing, because uh, honestly, who cares what seeds you are? If you play like we did at night, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, whatever it is, doesn't matter. You're not going to get very far. So that's the perspective and the focus doesn't really matter where the standards are. Steph, in a normal year, the toughest losses might be pretty easy to pick out. Do, do any this year stick out as like the ones that keep you up at night or do kind of all of them? I mean, you've been around long enough, you know, 82 games, is, you can't think about that you know, no matter what point in the season you are. When you ask the question, Denver, Jokic hitting uh, buzzer beer, that's the one, the first one that came to mind. But like I said, you've, we've experienced some some huge letdowns. We've had you know some that have gone our way. And we've had games like tonight where you're supposed to win and it might not be as dramatic as that Denver game, but it's a tough loss. So yeah, it's hard to keep the spirit it's not hard to keep the spirit it's hard to maintain like the momentum that you know, we're trying to create and it sounds good when we talk about it we just haven't executed is is, is there a is there like a ingredient that that you notice that leads to the consistency is it is there like a, a symptom you notice in, in all of them? Mm. No, I mean, it's a little bit of everything, to be honest. Like, it's, 
like I said, it's uh, even that game I was just talking about. We played great for 42 minutes and then let go of the last six minutes tonight. Our first six minutes was kind of the defining window that gave them all the confidence in the world that they could win tonight. So, and then you, it's, it's confusing because you go to LA and you have that, you know, performance like we did in LA where you bounce it back from a tough loss against Dallas and you show a lot of life. So I, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit of everything, but I think it's all controllable to a certain extent and we just have to do it. Steph, Trace tonight still, despite everything, Trace puts up 19 and 10 with three blocks. Over the last five, six, seven weeks, what's his development meant for you guys as a team? He's been a great spark off the bench. Him and CP and even Clay have a nice chemistry in pick and roll situations. He's understood the pictures a lot on defense and know where to be to get those blocks and uh, get those hustle plays and you know give us a, a huge presence inside. So I think uh, he's proven that he's learning you know on the fly and he's making a huge impact. Um, you know, in his minutes. And I think it's even big because we're starting to see him with different lineups, even next to Draymond for a good good run. And you need that size and that presence. And he's uh, he's doing everything in his power to, to impact the game. So it's great to see. Yeah, he's, the time, like I said, the chemistry, you know, I think he's gotten – a bunch of them from CP, a bunch of them from Clay, and when he sets good screens and you have to pay attention to other guys on the floor, he's uh, his timing and his leaping ability and his you know pressure on the rim. It gives us a different dynamic, and now we have to utilize that and then get everything else going around, uh, especially offensively when it comes to our organization and what we're trying to do on every possession. Going back to Slater's question and, and what you were saying about you know eyeing the sixth and seventh seed at one point and now just focusing on inconsistencies. I mean, you guys put together a really strong, you know, couple months and just because of the circumstances in the Western Conference didn't really see much movement in the standings. Is that like a frustrating thing that you do put together a good stretch and now as inconsistencies kind of creep back in, you weren't able to make headway? No, I think we think about it in the sense that we still have confidence that we can be the team that we say we're trying to be. It just highlights the couple games, especially at home, that we've lost that if you want to look at it and do the math, it could be, oh, we could be one game out of six. Oh, we could be securely in that seven, eight, you know, the Chicago game, then this game, uh, the San Antonio game, like, it, it, that's the frustrating part, but on the whole, there's enough uh, body of work outside of how everybody else is playing that we can look at ourselves and say we have the capabilities to to, to do it. And just um, it's like one out of every you know two games, as opposed to what that little stretch we had coming out of uh, All Star Week and all that stuff. So who are we gonna be? We gotta we gotta figure it out. Steph, do you think there's enough time in the season for you guys to build the momentum you're seeking? Absolutely. Sorry for the short answer, but absolutely.